First of all, I'd like to thank all of the jury members for their energy and enthousi enthusiasm in judging this year's 2017 Whipping Awards. With over 200 entries from 46 countries, it was a mammoth task, but undertaken with good spirit and a lot of technical deliberation. There's some big changes during the years that I've been doing these awards. The quality is rising every year. The level of sustainable development and sustainable design is also rising. But more importantly, certainly with this year's submissions, we saw a real social aspect to the responsibility of how projects impact their communities. In every continent of the world, we saw some projects which were really regenerating the social as well as the economic areas in which they were being developed. So we should congratulate the developers, we should congratulate the professional teams, and we should congratulate everybody with their vision behind these spectacular and award-worthy projects. With 11 categories in this year's awards, competition has been very fierce, and there has been some outstanding buildings, but the, the, the scoring in all of the categories was very close. This reflects the increasing quality of the submissions across the world. And we're seeing real competition from all the continents. It's not just the, the incredible new malls we see in Asia, or the tall towers of office buildings and traditional centers such as New York or Tokyo. These buildings are being seen to improve across the world. And I think a lot of cities and municipals are celebrating the impact that great architecture and great projects can have on their societies and the economic well-being of their environment. The change in social demographics that we're seeing across the world has changed the type of entries that we've had. Particularly well thought was the healthcare category where there's a real perspective of how people, how buildings can contribute to how well people feel, how quickly they get well when they're hospitalised and their recuperation. And this again is a real change that's designed by the patients themselves. And this is something which isn't just down to architects but to collaboration with the users of buildings, something which has been seen for many, many years in commercial buildings, but only more recently in healthcare. All the judges and those in the organising committee for the 2017 MIPIM Awards, we look forward to seeing you down in Cannes on Thursday the 16th of March. See you then.